It's Captain Lecture of the Norte Show with me, Manny Norte, the name you can trust. Just played to you the Beat Freaks and Gig, swinging it in the whip, which you can actually check out. And the soundtrack of the film, um, the film is called The Intent 2. And we've got the creators in the building right now. What up, what up? Nikki Slim Ting and Femi in the building. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm very good. You all right? Brilliant. We're good. We're good. All right. First things first, uh, thanks for having me at the um, actual premiere. You're welcome. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a big look. And I actually DJ as well at the after party. So you thanks smashed well. it. You, you killed destroyed it. it. Like, I keep it. saying all the time, like Manny's like the best DJ. Like, I don't he just guess knows me. how to set. No, he is, he no is. you know how to set the thing in a club. Like you know, like whenever you, like I see you play. Yeah. Like I just feel like you know you just bring a vibe and like you know just know how to set it. So you're a proper bad. DJ. You're a selector. You know what? It's a selector. You're a selector. Not a lot of people are selectors. You're a selector. Thank you very much. Thank you. Like you were playing tunes. That man, I've never heard in a club before. But True, like, you know, yeah. like to be able to do that and know what time to do it. Yes, like, it takes skill. Like whereas anyone can mix like what is current now. Well, people can't even mix these days. <laughs> true, true, true. Yes. And let me start calling out names, you know? Yeah. <laughs> joke, joke. But yeah, it's a good look. It's a massive, massive look as well. So, um, all right, so let's celebrate success. Um, the film is out right now, right? Mm -hmm. Out. Okay, where can now. you see the film? Oh, wow. At, there's a lot of cinemas, but yeah, there's, you can see it at Cineworld, you yep. can see it at um, Odeon, and Showcase, Showcase yeah. and then we've got it at Peckham Plex and Empire Waltham. So, oh, okay. so you're going to have to go on the Odeon Showcase okay, and, and the, the website. Cineworld website to find it. Okay, 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 okay. So give us a breakdown, uh, a little brief synopsis of the film, please. So, so I suppose the intent, the intent two is, um, follows up from the, um, it's the prequel to the intent the prequel. one. So like the intent one's about undercover police officers sent to infiltrate a gang of robbers and the develops a bond between them and he's torn between his relationship with the robbers and his um, obligations as a police officer. So for that intent too, we decide to delve deeper and go backwards into like, the criminals and how they became who they are. Okay. And so we look at the character of Jay. He's got ambitions of starting his own thing because he's like, you know, he's got to a stage in his life. He's been working for this woman, Beverly, who's played brilliantly by um, Sharon Duncan Brewster all okay. his life. Yeah. And now um, the fact that he's got this ambition brings him to loggerheads with Beverly and G Money, which is played brilliantly by Ashley, 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 Ashley Chin. Ashley Chin so, smashed it, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's basically the story. It's about, you know, someone trying to break away from their old life and, like, you know, it's just not happening because every everything he tries to do, it gets found out. And right. Like, you know, it's just all spiralling out of control. Okay, okay, I love that. So Slim Ting, Nikki, Yo. Um, to, get to, uh, to get a film to a stage where it's in the cinemas, how much work goes into that and how do you do it? It's a lot of hard work, man. The battles the battles are every day. Um the first thing is to get the finance to make a film. Without right. without any money you can't make a film. So that's okay. one battle. And then it's to get a cast and crew. And then it's to edit the film. How much the film cost? <sighs> A lot of money, man. a lot of money. <laughs> I never ever put budgets out there, but I just it's a lot of money. It's okay, not, it's, it's into the hundreds of thousands. So wow, you know, mad. It's a lot of money. So okay, you have to okay. find someone to believe in that project. And so, who did you get to back you this time? We got Island Records to back us. Okay, we, we got we, Island. We was lucky that Darkest and Twin believed in our vision. Yeah, saw what we done with the Intent One. Sick. Went in, had a meeting with them, and it's like, yeah, we want to do something with you. So the first one, you made some money. Yeah, we definitely made, some, we made <laughs> yeah. quite a bit of coin. Yeah, yeah. We made some, I mean, like, you I'm, know what? The main thing was to pay our investors back, you know, because okay. when you take money from people, you have to make sure they get their money back. Yeah. And all our investors got their money back with okay. our profits. So they're, the all, they're all happy. So it's good business. We do good business. Okay, okay. So, so that's it. what we're aiming to do again. I think, I think, me knowing you two guys, I think the, film, the, the, the bit that gassed you the most when watching the film, or maybe the actual uh, crowd as well, was before the film started. I saw two production companies. I saw two logos. <laughs> yeah. I saw yours. Was it Slim Ting Productions or yeah, Slim, Slim Ting Films? Slim Ting Films. Yeah. And what is it? Your Silver Street. Silver Street. Yeah. Silver Street. Yeah. That's yeah, a big look. I got a little Silver Street. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, you know, do you know? Is what? that real? Uh, that's real. And so like, you Don't know, lie. I went grey. Like when I was about 13, I've been going grey. and But it's now got this street. This started when I was in my, um, I suppose, my like late 20s. When I had kids, I had kids and then like this started. Wow. And I was dying it. <laughs> I was dying it for years and years. I was yeah. dying it. And then like, I, I think last year, I realised that my hair was thinning. So I was like, you know, I'm not going to dye it anymore. My missus has been saying to me, don't dye it for ages anyway. So right. I thought, you know what, let me just own it. It's just part embrace of who it. I am. Yeah, cool. Yeah. 
yes. like it's part of who I am. Let me just embrace it. Nah, it's it quite it. unique as nah, well. Nah, you look like an X man. Yeah, exactly. You look sick. You look sick. <laughs> Going back to the logo thing, why the the thing with the logo thing, I think is very important for yeah. branding for around the Trust. world. You know, because it's it's our baby. You know, we created it. We're a part of it. It's a business partnership. You know, it's us and Ireland. So yeah, I yeah. think having our branding on it is very important. It was gassy to see it both them both like the the two logos is a good look. You know. Yeah, yeah. definitely. All right, so Gets, talk to me about Gets, please. Why did you choose Gets for the film? So um, we were, Gets was going to exec produce the uh, album, the soundtrack. Okay. And we had a meeting with Ireland that was going ahead. And then um, like one day we were struggling to find an actor that I felt was authentic enough to pull that off. And like, because, you know, we had Scorcher leading the film last Scorcher, time. Yeah. Big up Scorcher. And like Scorcher, like he was authentic. He yeah. brought like, you know, He's some a He's lot amazing. of gravitas to the character. And like, it was just hard to find someone that brought that same level of gravitas and energy and sort of excitement. And so, like, we were in the office, and one day I was just like, you know, why don't we go for Getz? And everyone was like, nah, he's doing the music. Getz yeah. won't do it. I called Getz. Getz was like, nah, I'm not doing it. Like, I can't. I don't. I've... Oh, really? He said no. Yeah, he said no. Yeah. He said no. Okay. Like, he actually said no straight away. So and we I was both like, just to get on the phone to him. Yeah, I was like, you know what, Getz, audition audition and if you if you're good my casting director will let you know don't audition for me audition for someone whose job it is to like you know cast people in films and she saw him and she was blown away by his authenticity and his like the, the energy he brought to the character and then he came back on audition it was out out of him and like two um two other actors and like okay. you know it, like actual you know actors that yeah, have done yeah. loads yeah, yeah, yeah. and so he, he did the best audition and we decided to go with him man so he really earned that role like Sick. he really had to work hard for that role my man gets you know what i mean he's got the album out right now as well get a gospel the new testament so um at the actual premiere it was star studied there was a lot of people that came out you know yeah, yeah and we didn't even see half of the we didn't see you we didn't see yeah. half the stars there's in the loads house. of people there yeah who was there like that isn't in the film there's a lot of stars surely um, Moda Comedian was there yeah, yeah. Us, we had Target down we had so many people lethal, down lots lethal. of people from, yeah Lethal was he, he lethal was sauce. <laughs> he was flexing was he was flexing yeah, he had a, he he had had a fur a fur Fendi coat he broke chested. it he yeah, broke yeah. it he had the shoes matching everything yeah, yeah. Yeah. I said to him if you're bad unzip the top and he goes <laughs> Nah, he was flexing. <laughs> he was flexing. Was Big flat. up Lethal, man. Thank you for uh, coming down. Visual. Yeah, it's all good. All right, so in the actual film as well, there's um, it's Star Studies, Star Studies as well. Yeah. yeah. Fecky. Yeah, yeah Fecky He was him. a natural hothead, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah My yeah. question is, was he actually acting? <laughs> Fecky, you know what? He's just like, he's That's so it. amazing to work with. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. like, he's charisma. He brings it to the to the screen, you know? And I think like his character is somebody that we had to bring back because in the first one everybody liked blacks. Like he had a, he had he had a good character in it. Sick. So I think it was the main thing for us was to bring back the original cast, like yeah. to make it have that same feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah. works amazingly on screen and he makes people laugh. He's got the little one liners. He's these things, the one liners, he throws in the little jokes here and there. Yeah. Even yeah. when he's doing something so serious, yeah. He throws in the jokes. Sick, sick. I don't really want to spoil it for people that haven't seen it, but there's a big reggae superstar in there. A oh, reggae wow. dancehall yeah. star. Yeah. Pop calm. Oh yeah, okay. Pop calm. Pop calm. Pop calm. Yeah. What's his uh, what's his name in it? Sour 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 Sour. That's crazy, because you know what? When we done nope. the script and we say it to them one of his managers was like I don't think he's gonna like the name you know yeah. Sour Sap well, I'm saying but it's the fruit isn't it's, it? the it's, the, fruit. it's the drink it's a big drink in Jamaica it's yeah. meant to be very good for you so we was worried that he wasn't gonna like the name and then we met him he's like boy I mean love the name <laughs> and was Sour Sap we was gassed yeah, we were gassed, we was gassed. Mean, he was a joy to work with man I mean and he's got Jamaica on lock like, oh this for guy. real yeah. like, you know like it's like going, going around with the president of Jamaica mad. literally mad. that's how it mad. was mad. I mean mad. like I, I'm Nigerian, but like yeah. I say to people, like I can because of popcorn. Yeah, I I feel like I'm Jamaican. You're good. You're yeah. I'm yeah. good in Jamaica. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, and we had a lot of support. Big up T, Carleen. We had a lot of people supporting us to make Jamaica like the easiest part of the shoot. Okay, we we're able to achieve more. We we're able to like you know light it better, take our time to really make like what was like you know for me like the most visually enticing sort of sequences of scenes that I've ever like probably been shot in a black urban film yeah 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 big up big up big up and big up the unruly boss as well yeah, yeah done, definitely though, always so how many times were you in jamaica then this year Who, me i've gone to jamaica about seven times this year seven times yeah this year yeah 
Wow. In a year, like, so, yeah. Really? Seven times, yeah. What, for, for the film? No, not just for the film. I went okay. there on holiday, then okay. I went back there for a funeral, then I went back there okay. on a recce, then I went back there again. So, so it's from, just, are you, are you, is your family my from My family's from Jamaica. Jamaica, Jamaica what part? My, Which my part? St. Elizabeth. St. Elizabeth. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. But you know what? I'm talking I went like to I Jamaica. Jamaica. I went to Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> to be honest, okay, like, okay. literally, <laughs> since I've been going for the film, it's changed my life because... I went to Jamaica more as a tourist, you okay. know. I didn't go to certain parts. I was scared of going to certain parts. But going to Jamaica with Poppy, obviously your eyes are open to a whole different Jamaica. And it's like, I love it there now. Sick, sick, Literally sick, love sick, it. Sick. All right, let's get into this tune, Creeping Up. Talk to me about Creeping Up on the soundtrack, please. Wow, it's Kojo Funds. It's Young Bane. It's Massacre. Yeah. It's Remedies produced it. I mean, like, you know, I mean, Remedies someone that I've known from when he was young. Like, right. he's like a family friend. Okay. And like, I remember my sister was like, you know, I met Remedy, you know. I'm like, raw, that's Notes' his producer. Da, 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 that's, right. I didn't really know it was him. I didn't put two and two together. And then, obviously, like, Alex went to the studio and made this tune with them, and he sent it to me. And I was like, oh, my gosh, this is sick. Let's place it in the film. And I just placed it, even before, like, literally straight from the studio, we placed it at the start of the movie. Mm. And so when we placed it there, it just fitted so perfectly. I was like, you know, this is the tune. And then from there, it's just been in, it's been in a movie for, like, three, four months or something. Six, like. six, six, and it's six. just remained from the very first edit of the film. Like, just it's just, it's got a nice little vibe. It's nice to hear Kojo and Bane back together. Like, nice. And they're, they're going back to back, like, every oh, few yeah, bars. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. it's sick, man. I just really, I like that new generation of artists, man. They're, they're bringing, in, like, melodies and a vibe to the scene. So I love those artists, so. It's Capital Lecture, the Norte Show right here, Manny Norte with Slim Ting and Femi right here, the creators, uh, writers, directors, yep. And producers. Yep. Right, that's a lot of work. Yeah, a we're lot doing work. a lot, man. We don't trust no one else. <laughs> <laughs> so Is it either that or you want all the money? You want a bag? Boy. No, do you know what? It's like, it's like, you know what? You want want people you basically not it's hard to find people that fight for your dreams in the same way that you do yeah. and so and also at the same time we actually do do all these jobs like you know we work relentlessly we're working till late at night and early in the morning so mm. i just feel like you know it's just based on hard work and graft and until we get to like a level where we're in hollywood and like we've got 20 million assistants yeah. i just feel like actually for me as a migrant like coming from a migrant home, like my mum's just always worked hard. She's always had two or three jobs, like, do you know what I mean? Like only till recently has she calmed down. Yeah. And so it's that same work ethic that I just bring to the entertainment. And yeah. like, I just feel like with the work ethic, you just mi you make it. No, okay. hard work always gets you there. Yeah, true, 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 true. So um, from start to finish, how long did the actual film take? To actually make or from like very start, from writing the script, getting the deal? I would say about two years. Oh, wow. I would say it's 18, yeah, it's about two 2016, years. 2016, around September. Intent two, yeah? Yeah, we started thinking about it. Yeah. And then getting the finance took about a year and a bit. And then from there, yeah, like two shoot, years, two shooting years. it, we did we do prep for about five, six weeks. Then we shoot for about five, six weeks. Edit took time. Yeah. yeah. The first film was three hours. Wow. Yeah. First edit. There's cuts that I would love for the people there, to see. Yeah, there's, there's loads of scenes in Jamaica that just didn't make it. So you're gonna put it on? You can put it on the um, the yeah. DVD. The, the yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I just yeah. feel like you know we we had like the film like for us. We got all we could. Like it was hard to cut down because actually there were a lot of good scenes. But what you didn't want it like this pacing. I think pacing is important because we had lots of scenes that were individually very good. But like it was about getting the pacing right. And I just we wanted it to be quick and action packed and like every few minutes like this. There's yeah. a new thing popping up and like I feel like we achieved that, man. But like the initial edits were a bit. It was just long. What was the edit with the, the love scene? The, guess, the, <laughs> <laughs> the love scene? They, that was long, you know. That yeah, was of course like, it was we long. We cut it down. We shot it. Like, but yeah, the actual scene, we shot that for about 10 minutes. Oh, like, really? Is that yeah. all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. Like, I, I said, yeah, do it for about half no, an hour, But you know what? The main girl, she was going in. She was hanging on. Yeah, she was hanging. She, like, she yeah. went in. She, she, she committed. That shower moment. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. She, yeah, she yeah, committed yeah. to it. <laughs> I, gets, see, gets, I see Gets was going in with his back. He had a lot. Yeah, 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 so yeah, he's been yeah, going, Jamie. Yeah, I mean, looking a bit weird. going in. Gets, I see you, bro. I see you, bro. Take time, Gets. Take time. All right, let's get into this tune. Um, Stop on them. Merkston. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I remember we got that. And Merkston and Burner, he's doing really well now. He's a new artist from Boas as well, I think. And Merkston, obviously, the movement, like, they're like, you know, for me, like, some of my favorite artists, yep. and he, like Scorcher, Getz, yep. Wretch, yep. Merkston, yep. Devlin, those yep. guys are, they're fire. Like. Yeah, trust. So, yeah. 
The Naughty Show, Capital X Show. We're getting to the intent too right now. The writers, the creators, in fact, Nikki Slimting and Femi in the building. What's going on, guys? We're good. So you can't see it right now, but them they, they kind of came to the studio with some shopping bags, so the, the check's definitely cleared. We're trying to keep up. We're trying to keep <laughs> up, man. We're trying to keep up with the Joneses, man. It's difficult out here, man. People like Manny and that game. Money pull-ups. Manny that. is you know always what? sourced out. Always sourced out. <laughs> always. You know. I'm trying, I'm trying. You're I'm trying. always, like, from early. I've never met you not sourced out. You know, oh, like, people have only started spending money now yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been well, on you've it, been I've doing been on it, it for like, it. Uh, like personal trainers and that yeah. <laughs> then man you change you change well you didn't man. even change because you you've been yeah yeah <laughs> I've been, been, been doing early, it yeah yeah, early, yeah, yeah. Early, I got personal we got the same trainer in it the same trainer but I can't afford it like you have to don't try it breaks you know I have to start and stop it's not really getting the progress I want to get you know because the money bank goes a bit small sometimes I'll tell the trainer Mark Finley I see you I see you it's all good all right so um couple of the characters peaches yeah. I know Tinika loved that character. She loved it. She's a real yardie, you She's know? a real yardie. She's always in Jamaica, you know? You know Tinika, what? Tinika, what a god. The thing is, we was going to get a Jamaican person to play that part. Right. And the thing is, like, when we was coming up, doing the intent ones, Tanika supported us so much. Like, she gave us a big song of her and Stormzy. Okay. Like... Yeah, I remember know, I was playing yeah, it. I was yeah, playing yeah. it. Yeah. And we just, like, for me... We just respected her for that because she didn't need to do that. She hardly knew us, you know, and she believed in our project. So it was like, you know what? We need to give this to Tanika. She's the okay. only Yardie I know in England who is a Yardie. You know what it is? <laughs> so we it. gave it to her and she she killed it, man. Like, Sick. she she is a Yardie. Yeah, yeah, she really is, for real. Who else is in there? Cash Tastic, you got Cash? That was a nice yeah. That was important because like yeah, we for went real. for a recce last year and, like, you know, I love Cash's story. Like, you know, I'd, it's a shame what happened to him. And I was like, you know what? Like, we, I, I DM'd him on Instagram. I was like, Cash, I'm here for a recce in Jamaica. Come link me. Came and met me on the same day. We sat down. We spoke about the character. But you know what I love about Cash? He was fully committed, man. He took it fully. seriously. No, he fully. took it seriously. And, you know, it was an opportunity for us, like, you know, to reconnect the scene. It's like, you know, he's 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 us, but at the same time, he's Jamaican. Yeah. So, like, he was the bridge for us. He was sick. the conduit. Sick, sick, sick. And who else is in the film? I mean, it was actually star-studded. Yeah. I saw I saw Big Tobes. Big Tobes. I saw Rebecca Garton. Yeah. Young Bay. Lady Leisha. Young Bay. Young Lady. Young Bay. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to be a sweet boy by the bar. Yeah, yeah. Right, Lady, Le- Lady Leisha. Yeah, Lady Leisha. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, Teddy Brockshot. Teddy Brockshot for real. Um. There was Bear. obviously Popcorn. Yeah, Popcorn as well. There yeah. was Bear. Crimson Conan. Crimson Conan. Crimson Conan as well. Crimson, Crimson Conan. Daniel Leon. Daniel yeah, Leon. Yeah, yeah. Leon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you see it. them. Like, yeah. You see for me like they're the realest guys because like, I I've, I've never even said said this on wax but like when they did the intent they just came. They came. I didn't speak to any managers. Oh, wow. I didn't speak. They just came. Direct real. Then we spoke yeah. to them all like, we want you in a film, blah, blah, yeah. blah. But they just literally, they landed. Oh, wow. No papers, nothing. Like, Love they that. landed. Yeah, real. They really supported they really us. Support- like- and Conan was on set on days when he wasn't filming. I love yeah. that. Love yeah. that. Like, on, when would the, and, and so and when they we- were blowing up. This is like, don't waste my time. Okay. Were, like, that tune was big. And yeah, then, yeah. Um, they were hot. You know, so to get them to come down and be in a film, they didn't really know us. We met them through um, Fast Lane Wes. Okay. He introduced us to them and stuff and said, we was doing this movie and uh, for them to just back us and they didn't know us and just believe in what we're saying because we could have been saying anything. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. They really believed in the project and from then we built a good friendship and they've always supported us. We got the boys correct and Conan for real. All right, then let's get into this one. Talk to me about Pray For This, please. Deneo and the Holy Paban. Yeah, they said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Now, Miss Banks is in there as Ms. well. Miss Banks. I love Miss Banks. Yeah. Like, you know, Miss Banks gave us a tune last time. It was called The Come Up, which yeah. is actually what the film is called. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And exactly. so, like, you know, I needed, I, I really wanted a Miss Banks tune on there, and I love what she's doing at the moment. Also, like, obviously, Deneo's a legend. Yeah. Do you see what he done at the Yo, after party? Yeah, the after party. Man. Do you see what he done? Deneo, Deneo and who? And Ambush. 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 Oh, my God. You see, like, man. when I heard the back Ambush, back, yeah. he was riding Funky House. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yo. Mad, 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 and then Jabba went on Jabba went crazy. Cool, crazy. That was a movie. That was a movie. Yeah, it was a that, movie. That, it was that a moment. Me, that was a moment. And I thought, like, you know what? That was the culture. Like, and yeah, having true. those moments, like, yeah. are real iconic moments. Definitely. And so, like, you know, but the nails, obviously, all it, he feels like. It's, Always been there since I've been into Black British music. Right, right. And so right. we needed the Daneo tune on the soundtrack, man. The Norte Show Capital Lecture right now. Nikki Slim Ting in the building. Femi. Yeah. How do you pronounce your surname, Femi? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nee. Oh yeah, Lee. Run. Run. Oh yeah, Nee Run. I've yeah. got movements to go with it. Go Shall I show you quickly? Go, go on, show me. So it's like go like, on. like a dance. Oh yeah. New dance. Nee. 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 Then run. run. <laughs> 
I made that up for like BBC news reports yeah, that, yeah. that were bastardizing my name. <laughs> so Femi or Yeah. Yeah. So how would the the, the Anglo-Saxon pronounce your name? Um, Femi. Uh, uh, fem, uh, Femi. Oi. Do <laughs> like, you know what my name is? Do you know what my surname, yeah? Oi, it's Femi, like, oi, Femi, oi. Oi, 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 um, and they struggle with the rest. They yeah, just fumble it. <laughs> but like, it's got too many vowels in it. Yeah, and it people has. struggle with all the vowels. But at the same, it's phonetic. It's, it's like, lot. you just say what it looks like. But like, if you can say Kanye, you can say, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, there you go, there you go, there you go. So what's next for you guys then? Um, In ten, three, four? Nah, um, well, no, maybe. Free, 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 free definitely. definitely maybe in about two up, years. Yeah, I want to link up with Scorcher again. Like, okay. He's yeah. good talent. Like, yeah. you know, me and Scorcher working together, yeah. we butt heads so yeah. much, we fought every day. Yeah, I remember. But like, I think he, I, I was telling yeah, you about yeah, it last yeah, time, yeah, yeah. but it brought out the best in both of us. I right. think, like, me and Scorcher have that thing where we're very, both very argumentative. We want to know the reason for everything. Yeah, yeah, but I just yeah. think that works for the film. They're a nightmare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I think it worked for the film. So okay, I want to okay. link up with Scorcher again. Um, um, it would be nice to bring back the cast as well. Yeah. I feel like G Money deserves a comeuppance. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, for like, yeah. He, he gets away with too much. Yeah, he does. So he, he does. deserves too a comeuppance. Much, too much, too much. And, um, yeah, we're doing a film about Aya Napa. That's our next film. That's a big one. Right, yeah, that's, that's a big film. one. Napa in what? Early 2000s. Yeah. We're setting it there. Yo, we're setting it there. Man at the square, eleven thirty. Trust me, eleven forty-five. You know, you know. Can we go ice? Yeah, you that's know. What's Abyss. That's we're doing a holiday we're doing. film. Insomnia. We're doing a holiday film Jeez. about Napa. So how can men start raving at five, six o'clock in the morning? It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. So yeah, that's gonna be a big one. That's so a big yeah, one. So that's next. And we're gonna do a kids film. Oh, big adventure film. So okay, okay. There's no British. Are you, gonna, are you gonna be in it? Be the daddy side. No, no, no. You, you want your shining. You want yeah, your shining. I want my shining, but you know what? It's uh, we have to see in it. You know okay. what? Being in the films, directing them, and writing them is it's a, a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Spike done it. A lot of them do it. They do it. Yeah. They do it. But Tyler, Tyler, Tyler Perry. Whatever. Tyler do Perry it. does we it. We do it because like he's in a lot of scenes that I'm not in. Okay, yeah. Yeah. that's so how works. we do it. And we're never in the same There's only one scene, scene we did together in the oh, intent. Okay, yeah, the one where we're in the car, where I'm in the car, and all that. That's the only scene. Okay, okay, And we did that in one long take. We just did like ten minutes, and then just. Stopped. I can see you two have been together for a long time because you're saying things at the exact same time. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Like, we're, like, we're like a married couple. We, I actually speak to him more than anyone. That's bad. Like I speak to him first. We speak to each other at least fifty times a day. It's six, crazy. Six, six, it's crazy. Six, six, six. I love to relax, man. We, we need to relax. relax. <laughs> Well, guys, thanks for passing through. Congrats on the release of the film, you know what I mean? Thank you for having us. The Intent 2 right now. It's out in cinemas. Go and check it out. The Norte Show, Capital Extra. 